A lot of people have heard of double slit interference, but have you ever thought about exactly what it is, why it has the pattern that it does, and why you don't observe it with things like white light? Right here is a nice physical demo at the Exploratorium, where a laser is shot through two very thin slits, and down on a wall several feet away from the slits, you don't just see two bright spots, you see many. Let's go ahead and pull up a simplified simulation to try thinking through what's happening. If the slits are thin enough, you can model each one of them as a point source. And it's important for what follows, for the light coming from each one to be a pure sine wave with just a single wavelength. Think about a point on the middle of the wall behind these slits. The distance to each slit is the same, so those two waves are in phase with each other, and this gives what we call constructive interference, so you see a bright spot. But if you shift a little to the side, to a point such that the distance to one slit is exactly half a wavelength longer than the distance to the other, then the two waves actually cancel out. The peaks of one line up with the troughs of the other. The net result is nothing, and you get a dark spot. When you think about it, this actually feels really bizarre at first, because it means when you go from having one slit to opening a second, this specific point of the wall will actually become darker, despite more total light being let through. It's weird, but it's a consequence of the fact that you're adding waves. Similarly, if you scan from left to right, these waves fall in and out of sync with each other, giving oscillations between bright and dark spots. But that specific pattern depends a lot on the specific wavelength of the light. It changes if you change that wavelength. This is why if you tried it with white light, which is a mix of a lot of different pure sine waves, you wouldn't see the distinctive pattern. They would all kind of blur against each other. Which is why it took until 1800 for anyone to notice this phenomenon. 